Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to make a P-80 fighter jet in build a -Boy for treasure Now I apologize for the lack of uploads, a lot has been happening within the past few months. But hopefully now I should be back here uploading videos just for you. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and comment below any other video suggestions for videos. And as always, enjoy the video. So the first thing you guys are going to have to do is place two poles just like this. Make sure that you have the anchor block feature disabled. And once you guys have done that, you need to place a 2x10 platform with the block of your choice. Next, you want to place two blocks at the front and four at the back. Once you guys have done that, you want to go back to the front and place a total of six blocks just like I did. And after that, you want to extend it all the way towards the back up until this point. Bring it in by half a block and place four blocks there. Followed by another four and two underneath. Next you want to go back to the front and place these three blocks, then right on top of it you want to place another two. After that you want to place four blocks here, along with another four to give it this look. Then you want to place two more blocks over here. After that you want to extend it all the way to the back. Place six blocks here, then place another three. Next, you want to place two more, go to the back, and extend it to the front. Make sure you leave a three block gap here. This is going to be for the canopy so we can sit inside of it. After that, you need to place two blocks at the back, and then we are going to start building the glass. The glass for the canopy is simple. I made a few adjustments, but just make sure these stick to this design that I'm making. Once you guys have done that, you want to place four poles over here. And another two. Make sure these poles are sitting inside of the block. And for these two, you want to make sure that you place them on the block directly. After that, you want to change your rotation to 15 degrees and place a pole here. And place another one underneath so it stays in place. After that, you want to place one more on top. Place two over here. Switch your rotation back to 90 degrees and fill it in. And after that, you guys are going to have to break these two poles. For the elevators, you want to start off by placing six poles on each side. Make sure it's three poles wide, two poles along. And after that, you want to change your move tool to 0.5, so you can fit another two on each side. After that, you want to place these two poles over here. Make sure they are sitting partially inside of the pole. And then you want to place two more at the back. After that, you can switch your movement back to one. You're going to have to go to this spot on the side of the plane and place four blocks just where I did. Next, you want to place another on each side. And with the poles, you want to start off by placing two here. And then make sure it is seven poles wide. Repeat the same on the other side. Now for the actual wing design, you need to place two more poles right over here. Then you want to bring it in. Now you want to do the same on the other side. So for each section here, you should have placed four poles. And for the front, for every three poles that you place, you want to move it in. And once you guys get to this point, you want to do the same on the other side. If a pole fits at the end, just like this, that means you did it right. Next, you want to fill it in. Now you want to go to the back and place two blocks here, followed by three and one more. Now 
Now the front you want to place these two, followed by another. Place one on each side. And then you want to go to the wing tips and place six poles just like this. And once you have done that, you want to place another six under it and do the same on the other side. Now you want to change your movement back to 0.5 and this part might get a little bit confusing but you want to make sure that your pole is sticky inside of the end bit. If this gets too confusing then it's fine you can leave it, I just figured it adds more of a curve to the end of it. Next you want to give it a paint and place three more poles right here underneath the aircraft. Make sure your movement tool is on one, then you want to place these four poles on each side. And once again make sure they're sitting inside of the block. Once you have done that, you want to place two more poles at the wing. And then you want to do the same on the other side. And now for that, you want to place one more pole, but make sure you flipped it. And then you want to go to the rudder and place a pole here. If you have the scaling tool, you can add a neon block at the back. If you don't, it's fine. Make sure you set the scaling option to zero. And then you want to bring the block back. Then you want to switch the scaling setting to 0 0.2. And then bring it in by one on each side. Now after that, you guys are going to have to place your pilot seat on the inside of the aircraft. And make sure you flip it like this. Because it lets you spin while you're flying. After that, place your turbine in the back. Then you are going to paint it, and you are basically complete. Now to get inside the aircraft, you are going to need to use a screwdriver tool, and this is so you can turn off the collision. If you guys don't have the tool, you can either place a door somewhere, or you can save it, and then you can break some blocks and place them back once you're inside. Make sure you bind the turbine to your seat. Save it and you're good to go. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy, please consider subscribing, leave a like, and comment below any other video suggestions. I will try my best to be more frequent with uploads, and an update video should be out soon regarding my upload schedule.